Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. I know it's been a while, but today we're making Thai red curry. And just like always, only thing we're gonna need a few simple ingredients. Toasting some coconut oil in the pan, we're gonna heat our red chili paste. We're gonna go off and toast this chili paste till it comes really nice and fragrant. It's gonna bring a lot of flavor out into this dish. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add our chicken. We're gonna start searing it. Tossing it in, making sure that it gets all nice and evenly coated with the red chili paste. We're just gonna allow this to sear quite a bit. The searing actually is not gonna keep the juices in. It's just gonna add a lot more flavor to the dish. We're gonna keep on mixing, keep on tossing, making sure that all sides are seared nice and equally. Not too aggressively though, because when you cook a curry, Thai curries, it's more like a stew. So we're just gonna get a little bit of a sear to add some flavor to the dish. Now that we're at this point, we can go off and get ready to add our coconut milk. Make sure you shake that can really well before you add it in. Now this recipe is gonna call for two cans, but we're just gonna add one in at the very beginning. And of course, mix everything in and get it incorporated. In the meantime, let's pick our Thai basil and we could pick our mint, and then we could just set it aside. Both of these add such a delicious flavor to the dish. About five minutes has already gone by, and we're gonna add our second half of the coconut milk. It's just gonna add a really, really refreshing flavor of coconut at the end. That's why I cook it in two parts. And of course, here we go. A little bit more mix in, some more mix in. I have some baby eggplant I just decided to chop up. You could add any vegetables that you're liking. And then I also have some red onions that I had at the house. So we're just gonna pop these bad boys right on into this dish. And that's the cool thing about cooking at home. You can adjust any recipe the way that you like it to. And we're gonna cook this down, mix this up till it's all nice and incorporated. Now, after about three or four minutes, the eggplant's nice and tender. And check out this beautiful consistency. And now is a home stretch. Time to add our final seasonings. Let's add a little bit of fish sauce here. I'm gonna add about one and a half tablespoons to this. It's gonna add a salty, fishy brininess, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna balance this out with some delicious palm sugar. If you could get this, use this anytime over white sugar. It's so much healthier for you and so much more delicious. Now make sure you taste it. Maybe it needs a little more fish sauce. Maybe it needs a little more palm sugar. Well, I liked it, so I'm gonna add a few of our herbs in, ripping it in as we go. All right, guys, and you know what time it is. It's time to plate up. I'm serving this one family style, so it's nice and chill, relax. No stress on plating it up, just having a good old time, having a lovely side dish of some steamed rice and maybe even a refreshing papaya salad. I know it's been a while, but I really wanna thank you all for checking back in and watching this video. And our final garnish is going to be some sliced scallions along with the Thai basil and mint that we picked up earlier. Once again, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this Thai red curry video made by Chef C's. Like always, here's a recipe listed below. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.